Do you have a favorite study Bible? Keep watching to find out what mine are. Hi, I'm LaRosa Johnson with Bible Study Tips, where we help you learn the Bible, connect with God, and grow your faith, and videos just like this one where we take a deep dive into Bible study tools to enhance your Bible study. So we hope you consider subscribing to our channel so you never miss any of our video content. Over the last few weeks, we've taken a deep dive into study Bibles. First, we looked at the, their history, ranging back from the Geneva Bible back in the 1500s all the way up to the present day. And then last time, we took a look at how to choose the perfect study Bible and the different things that you should look for, such as the study notes, introductions, and on down the line. So be sure to take a look at those videos to learn about those. Today we're talking about my favorite study Bibles because there are lots of study Bibles in the market but there are a few that I use specifically almost every single day when I'm studying God's Word. So I want to share those with you and show you why I enjoy them in my Bible study. So first and foremost is the ESV study Bible. This is my go-to study Bible when I'm studying God's Word because it has just about everything that I need when I'm trying to figure out what I'm studying and making sense of God's word. Whether it be a map or a chart that I'm looking for, a specific study note, it's got what I'm looking for because it tries to be so comprehensive. And that's what I enjoy about the study Bible. When it comes to explaining the Bible text, the ESV has everything I need and then some. There's a chart for everything, there's a map for everything, the study notes are just what I need, and the articles in the back are always helpful and encouraging to my soul. I pretty much carry a copy of the ESV study Bible with me wherever I go, whether I'm carrying around my physical copy, or whether I'm using it in the Olive Tree Bible Study app or Logos Bible software, I have a copy of the ESV Study Bible in everywhere I need it to be. So it's always at my fingertips, ready for me to use, ready to answer any questions that I might have about God's Word. The next study Bible that I like to use is the Gospel Transformation Study Bible by Crossway. This is a study Bible that they came out with several years after the ESV Study Bible, but I really appreciate the focus of this one because, like the great hip-hop theologian Shai Lin says, y'all should be mindful of this devout thesis, all of the Bible is about Jesus. And that's what this study Bible is focused on specifically, is looking at how Jesus Christ and the gospel weave this way through from Genesis to Revelation. So when it talks about gospel transformation, that's what it's looking at. So you can look at a passage in Genesis and it'll tell you and show you how this lines up with the gospel and how there's a picture of the gospel in this passage. Or even looking at something like Kings or Chronicles, you can see how it's all weaving and pointing us to the cross of Jesus Christ. So this is what I appreciate about the study Bible because it keeps the focus on the gospel, which is what we need to do. Because if we look at a passage like Luke 24, Jesus talks about how all of the Old Testament scriptures point to him. And so we need to keep that in mind when we're studying scripture. And I really appreciate how this study Bible helps me do that. No matter what other study Bible I'm using, I'm always using the Gospel Transformation Study Bible in tandem with that study Bible. That's how important I find this study Bible to be. So next on the list is the Biblical Theology Study Bible, formerly known as the NIV Zondervan Study Bible. Now, if I didn't have the ESV Study Bible, if it didn't exist, this would be my go-to study Bible because it's just as thorough as the ESV Study Bible, but I really appreciate the, its focus on Biblical Theology and showing us how Scripture fits together and once again, showing us how it all points to Jesus Christ because He is the central figure of scripture and we need to understand how it all points together. So I really appreciate this Bible. And then once again, it's got great maps and charts and illustrations and just different things that you wanna have in mind when you're studying scripture. And so, like I said, if I didn't have the ESV study Bible, this would be my go-to. I don't have a physical copy of it, but I definitely use it digitally in the Olive Tree Bible app. And it's a great way to, again, dive into God's word. So the next study Bible on my list is the Reformation Study Bible, and it's the 2015 edition, not the one from the 1990s. And this is the one study Bible that I have in my library that's really focused on a particular theological view. And I'll admit that I'm of a Reformed tradition, so it's great having a study Bible that comes in that particular line of thought and helping me better understand how to interpret scripture from that particular point of view. But that's not really what sets this Bible apart for me. What I really appreciate about this Bible is everything that's in the back of the Bible, because this Bible is full of different creeds and catechisms, um, confessions of the faith, and I really appreciate having those in a really easy to access um, format, because you can go through and try to have a book of creeds and catechisms, but it's great to be able to have those in a Bible to be able to see how church history has understood scripture throughout the years, and really how it hasn't really changed that much as far as how we understand scripture today and how we need to be able to walk in the same path as those 
uh, great men who have understood and studied scripture that came before us. So that's one reason why I like having the Reformation Study Bible in my personal library. Now the next study Bible on my list is one that I get laughed at by a lot of friends because hey, they don't like to necessarily use the study Bible, but it's one that I find a lot of value in when I'm studying scripture. And it's the Life Application Study Bible. Now, I'll admit when I'm studying scripture, finding personal application and applying it to me, unless it's somewhere where it says, do this or don't do that, I struggle to find the application. So having a study Bible that helps me think about different ways of seeing how to apply God's word to my life is really important to me because it doesn't really matter if we're studying scripture, if we're not applying it to our life. So this is one reason why I like having the Life Application Study Bible available to me. Then I also appreciate that it has different character studies throughout and even some of the study notes that it has. I really just appreciate the central focus of life application and applying God's word to my life. And that's why I keep this study Bible in hand when I'm going through and doing Bible studies, doing devotions, or like even preparing like content to teach. I refer to the study Bible because I want to be able to find things that, to help people apply God's word to their life, both personally and helping others do the same. So this is one reason why this study Bible has a very strong place in my library and why I use it often. And the final study Bible that I like to use is the CSB Disciple Study Bible, which I have right here. And this has quickly become a favorite of mine. It came out in late 2017, but it's one that I've quickly become fond of because of the way that it's laid out. I've been a fan of discipleship and it's been a strong emphasis of mine as far as reading in the last year. And Robbie Gallaty with Replicate Ministries, this is a ministry that's really focused on doing discipleship and he's the general editor of this Bible. And he's done a lot of great work as far as putting in discipleship resources to help you know how to start a discipleship group and do discipleship in uh, a group context, in your family, and just different things like that. So I appreciate that. And it also has the Foundations 260 reading plan built into it. So if you go through the reading plan, it has the devotional notes and journaling page for you to do in the Bible, which is great for doing this with a discipleship group or even going through and like in your own personal devotions. And then it's also just great for giving someone who's new to the faith because the way the study notes are set up, it helps you organize things categorically into different doctrines. So you can see where it relates to the church, salvation, and different things like that. So I appreciate the way the study Bible is laid out, both in its notes and in the bonus information that it provides. So this is one reason why this study Bible has quickly become a favorite and found a home in my library. So yeah, that's it. Those are my favorite study Bibles. Those are the ones that I use the most. The ESV study Bible, the Gospel Transformation study Bible, the Biblical Theology study Bible, Reformation study Bible, Life Application study Bible, and the CSB Disciple study Bible. Those are my go-to on a daily basis. And there are lots of other ones that I use, but these are the ones that I always refer to hands down when I have questions about God's word. So question of the day, what's your favorite study Bible? What's the one that you go to every single day and whenever you want to study God's word? Leave a comment below and join our discussion. Thanks for checking out this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you learned more about study Bibles. If you want more content for Bible study tips, be sure to click here or click here. And also be sure to follow us on social media and be sure to subscribe so that you never miss any of our content. Until next time, grace and peace.